Hello friends, this is Dr. Mitesh Kala, presently teaching in Campion School. Welcome to the online teaching resource. Hi, how to manage your time while writing your answer? I mean to say while writing your paper. So in this video, we are going to talk about time management. For your time management, let's understand few basics first. Number one, how much time do you have? So you got a total of two and a half hours, that is 150 minutes to write your entire paper. You've got total eight questions that you need to attempt, out of which four are compulsory, that is section A, and the remaining four you have a choice. So section B will have seven questions, out of which you need to choose any four. So a total of eight questions is what you need to attempt. Each main question will have three sub-questions, A, B and C. All right. So altogether, 8 into 3, 24 questions is what you need to attempt your complete maths paper. So how are you going to attempt this and how much time should you dedicate for each question is what we are going to talk in this video. So I repeat, you get total 150 minutes and you have 8 questions that you need to attempt. So 150 minutes, how you are going to spread it throughout the 8 questions. So let's look into it. Total time as we said, 150 minutes. This 150 minutes, we are breaking it into three parts for section A, section B and some buffer time. All right. So three parts we have broken it into section A. For me, I believe that a good student should always finish section A first and that too in first 60 minutes. That's one hour for your section A. Section B. Once you finish your section A, start with your section B. And you should segregate 75 minutes for your section B. There is a notion many people feel that they should do section B first and then section A. Okay, you can do that. Board allows you to do that. But my advice or recommendation, always do section A first. It's easy. You captivate your 40 marks and it goes faster. So you are released of your pressure and then get on to section B. It always becomes easier. All right. And then when you add these two section a and section b you finish your paper that is 60 minutes plus 75 minutes you still left with 15 valuable minutes that's your buffer time so we've broken it into three parts section a 60 minutes section b 75 minutes and buffer time 15 minutes now the 60 minutes for section a how are we going to break that time so let's look into it so you got to attempt four questions and 60 minutes that means obviously your math calculation is good perfect 15 minutes per main question so question 1 15 minutes question 2 15 minutes question 3 15 minutes and question 4 also 15 minutes so you are segregating 15 minutes per question okay that is one main question and each one main question will have three sub questions so we'll go into the breakup of that a little further let's look at section b now we have seg segregated 75 minutes for section b and section b again you are going to attempt any four that's a choice so let's say you've attempted question five six seven and eight and when you divide 75 minutes okay you will see that section a you'll have to give uh, sorry section b you'll have to give each question about 17 to 18 minutes all right so let's take 17 minutes question 5 question 6 also 18 minutes question 7 18 minutes and question 8 also 17 to 18 minutes so altogether you're giving about 17 to 18 minutes per question for section b per main question now how is the breakup of this each is what we will see in the next slide you have 15 minutes of buffer time. How are you going to use that time? Uh, it's already there on the screen, but we will discuss about that later in the last slide. So now let's look back at section A and see how are we going to break it. So for section A, if you look at it very carefully, each question we said we are giving 15 minutes, one five, 15 minutes per main question. And every main question has three sub questions that is A, B and C. So common sense should tell you that you are going to give five minutes to each sub question. So question 1A should be five minutes, 1B five minutes, 1C five minutes. Now, you should not finish one question and look at the watch. Again, finish a question, look at the watch. No, finish one main question and then look at the watch. On an average, you should be finishing it within 15 minutes. That's what your target should be. So every main question 
in section A, if you finished it in 15 minutes, then all your four questions, you will easily finish it in 60 minutes. So first one hour and your 40 marks is there with you. A good child who has practiced really well will easily finish this in first one hour. That's very, very important. Once you finish this in first one hour, now you got to get onto section B. That is question number five to question number eight. Obviously, whichever question you want to select, you can. Let me tell you, choice is available. Not only that, you can also attempt an extra question. Talking about that in the buffer time, not now. Let's focus back on section B. Question five to question eight. Each question, we are giving about 18 minutes. So common sense, if you're giving 5A, 5B, 5C, how much time? Perfect. Six minutes each question. So basically what happens is the C part is slightly tougher. So first two parts you manage to finish in five minutes or four minutes. And the last part you might take seven or eight minutes. So altogether on an average six minutes per question, 18 minutes you finish the entire question. So five to eight, if you finished 18 minutes or 17 minutes each question, Aram say in 75 minutes, you are going to finish your section B. So once your section A and section B is done, you've attempted your 80 marks paper. After that, you should have at least 15 minutes buffer time. So if you practiced well, you will easily finish your full paper in not more than two hours and 15 minutes. And you still have your buffer time. So now looking at the buffer time. So buffer time, you got 15 minutes. What you're going to do in that? Now there is a notion that many people feel you are not allowed to attempt an extra question in the board. Let me tell you, you are definitely allowed to attempt an extra question in the board, although they do not support the notion, but you are allowed. And the once the paper is corrected, the best four are picked up, not the first four. Let me tell you, best four are picked up, not the first four. That's what is the rule of the boards. So best four are picked up. So what I would suggest for your buffer time, which you have 15 minutes. Now, not necessary. Everyone might have 15 minutes. Someone might have only five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes also depends. So what are you going to do in this buffer time? This is the most important time. So the first thing that you need to do is check how much buffer time you have. So if you got time greater than 10 minutes, okay, then you must attempt one extra question at least. Why extra question? Children who want to score 80 on 80, all right? I have seen while correcting the papers in the board, those children who attempt an extra question have a greater chance of getting 80 on 80. Because sometimes in section B, you might make a small error of one mark and your 80 on 80 is lost. But when you have attempted an extra question, you stand a chance to cover up that mistake with that extra question because best four are picked up and you get your 80 on 80. So if you have 10 minutes or more than that, Bindas attempt an extra question. Is that very clear? All right. But if you have less than 10 minutes, do not try and attempt an extra question. Why? Because if you are attempting an extra question, you at least need 10 to 12 minutes and you do not have that much of time. You'll end up doing only A or B and you do not finish the entire extra question and you wasted the entire time then. Because any which way is best four are going to be picked up. And since you finished only A and B, that means six marks. Other questions, you're going to get more than that. So you wasted your time. So please see to it. First check how much time you have and then decide whether you should attempt an extra question or not. That's why I have mentioned very clearly greater than 10 minutes attempt extra question less than 10 minutes do not attempt an extra question. Now, let's say you finished attempting an extra question. You still have time. What are you going to do with that? So again, check if you got greater than 10 minutes, attempt one more extra question. Okay. But if you got lesser than 10 minutes, then there are other things to do. So what is the next thing straight away that you must do? So the next thing is recheck your question numbers, because if your question numbers are not numbered well, there is a chance that you might lose marks. The teacher might get confused and she will give it to you wrong. So it's better to always recheck your question numbers. Okay. After you finish checking your question numbers, you still have time. What is the next thing you're going to do? Recheck the values substitution means you picked up the values from the question paper and written it on your answer sheet. Have you picked them? Well, check that you finish that you still have time. What are you going to do? Recheck your calculations. Okay, wherever calculations are there, especially for questions like banking and all that check your calculations you finish checking your calculations you still have extra time what are you going to do now what is that you need to do is check whether you've written the units correctly wherever necessary 
if you finished all that now start decorating your paper what do i mean by decorating decorating means start highlighting the important stuff that is there in your paper put boxes to the final answer whenever you put a box to the final answer it becomes very easily visible for the teacher to put ticks so check put the boxes because when you put a box it becomes easy for the teacher to correct the paper and then you can easily get your marks so please check that that's equally important i hope this video helps you to understand the time management not only that how to use your extra time that you have and you can finish your paper comfortably within the time limit so please see to it you follow this you try this at least once or twice before you get into the final paper and once you make it a habit automatically you will get into it 15 minutes each main question section a 18 minutes each each main question in section b you do this you finish your paper in two hours 15 minutes last 15 minutes buffer time and you can use it the way we decided yeah i hope you get a good hand on this and you do a paper very well please let me know if you've done your paper very well by writing it in the comment section thank you i hope you enjoyed until the next video take care stay safe pray for everyone and be honest bye i hope you enjoyed the video Please do write your math experience in the comment section. Thank you.